Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are learning about the CSS layout, uh, how we can layout, uh, how we can align the elements in the CSS through the CSS. We are seeing. Now let's move on to the new topic in the CSS layout structuring. That is nothing but a flexbox. So flexbox is one of the important thing which was released in something around 2000 dollar uh, or something like that. So here flexbox what i can say is it's a layout mechanism designed for laying out group of items in one dimension so this is a definition so let's try to say flexbox it's a, it's a, something like a layout mechanism just like css floats and all those things how we are using so flexbox is an another concept it is used for laying of the group of items in one dimension one dimension means either x x or y axis like that so let's try to see the flexbox thing. <clears throat> so here, what I can say is the flexbox layout model. So sim simply we can say it as a flexbox. Let's open this one in the notepad so that I can explain you. Yeah. So flexbox is the thing we are learning, right? So here, this is the layout model. I can say it as this one as a layout model. And it is used for defining, uh, for designing the one dimensional layout. Let's try to see about this one also one dimensional content. You can say it as one dimensional content. It excels at taking a bunch of items which has different sizes and return, returns the best layout for those items. So we will try to see wh what about this one. So what you can do with this flex layout. So what are, what, what is the thing we can achieve it using this flex layout? Let's try to see. Flex layout have some uh, have the following features. Let's try to learn by implementing the flex lay flex box layout. So we can have these following features. What is this following features? Let's try to see it one by one. We can display the items or the elements. We can see it as normally in the flex we call it as an items. Items either as a row or a column. So we can mention it. I will try to explain you this one. And we are it also respects so respects means it also follows follows the writing mode writing mode means we'll be having from right to left like arabic language vertical mode so like this it follows the writing mode of the document it also follows the writing mode of the document normally the flexbox are single line by default these are single line by default but you can wrap it into multiple lines so we can wrap it in a multiple lines into multiple lines so these are the major things which we can do it with the flexive <clears throat> items in the layout we can visually reorder but in the but away from the order in the dom so in that we can visually reorder so visually while seeing we can visually reorder the elements also space so the important thing the space between the items the space between the items can be equally uh, can be distributed inside the item so we can distribute the space between the items so we can make it as uh, bigger smaller according to the space available in the parent so we can make it the space and also not only the space inside the items also we can distribute the space and around the items also we can distribute the space so that is the thing i want to tell you <clears throat> the items themselves can be also aligned in the cross axis so what is this cross x and main axis we'll try to learn now the key when we are when we are learning about the flex box the key to understand about this one is the con uh, first we need to understand about the concept of the main axis and the cross axis so that is the main thing which you need to learn first when you are learning about the flex thing so now we understood about the what are the things we can achieve it using the flex box now let's move on to the another topic that is the concept first when we jump into the flex box thing first we need to know the main axis and the cross axis so main axis and cross axis is defined by the flex direction property the flex direction property flex direction property defines the main axis so main axis main axis so we will be having two axis that is nothing but a main axis and a cross axis let's try to see it so now for example let's say that we are having a flex boxes items let's say that here these are the items are there so like this we have an items okay so here this one is called as a main axis so the left to right is called as a main axis and top to bottom is called as a cross axis so this is the main thing you need to understand so this main axis 
so we can make it as a left to right or top to bottom using the flex direction property so that is the main thing which i want to explain you using the flex direction property we can set the main axis when this main axis is set the cross axis automatically it will be opposite to that main axis that's why if that is a row means your main if the flex direction is a row means then the main axis will be row if it is a column means then the if it is a column means if it is set as if it is set as column means then the main axis will be column flex items the items so here you are able to see these items right these are called as an items these items move as a group so these these items move as a group as a group along on the main axis so automatically these items move on a group on the main axis so that is the thing so remember that we have got a bunch of things and we are trying to get the best layout for them as a group now the cross axis so we understood about the main axis so main axis we can set it using the flex direction property and the items present in the flex move as a group along the main axis if the main axis is left to right means so this will be aligned left to right if it is main axis is right to left means then it is set as right to left if it is top to bottom means like that now the another one what we want to discuss is the cross axis so cross axis runs in the other direction to the main axis so for example if the flex direction is row means then the cross axis will be column so here we are having a items and if it is a, if the flex direction is row means then the main axis will be in the row left to right then the cross axis will be column so that is the main thing you need to understand that is the main thing you can do two things on the cross axis you can move the items individually or as a group so they align against each other so in the cross axis so whereas in the main axis we can group the i we can move the items group group we can move it whereas in the cross axis we can move the items either individually or as a group so they align against each other and the flex container also if you have wrapped flex lines you can treat those lines as a group in order to control how space is assigned to these lines so we will all see all these things in the practice throughout this uh, session so just you keep in mind one thing is main axis is defined by the flex direction so the main axis the the here the uh, the main axis is set only through the flex direction so that is the one thing you need to understand so now let's now this is all about the theory part in the flex thing so let's move on to the practical part so before moving on to this practical part first let's revise these all things what we have what we have learned it so then only we can move to the other one so flex box is a layout technique it is one of the layout technique just like the float positioning these are all the things column multi columns we have learned it right in the css so just like that flex box is also one of the layout mechanism so we will be following the layout of grouping the items in one dimension now using the flex box what are the things we can do it is so we can display the all the items or items in a row or a column and also we can distribute the space around the items and also we can distribute the space inside the items <clears throat> and we can also wrap uh, by default these all items will be in a single line but we can wrap it in the multiple lines and another concept what we have learned is the main axis and the cross axis main axis is the by default main axis will be always left to right so flex direction property the main axis will be set by using the property flex direction and flex direction property by initial value is the row so row means it will be horizontally automatically you will be having a cross axis so which we have column wise so if the main axis is a row wise means then the cross axis will be a column wise if the main axis is column means then the cross axis will become row wise now main axis is the main thing so now here you need to remember that <clears throat> the main axis always uh, what i can say here uh, what i can say is the flex items the items which are available in the container the items move as a group in the main axis whereas in the cross axis the uh, the items will we can move the items either group or other or, or, or otherwise we can move the items individually also so either group also we can move it or either individually also we can move it. whereas in the main axis we can move the items as a group so let's try to see those all things 
so now you understood about the flex thing so now in the next video we will try to understand the flex container and the flex direction how it will behave we will try to see it in the next session hope you understood about the concept of the flex box if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you